right, ladies and gentlemen, as advertised, as promised, we're uh, going to do a tutorial tonight on Time Machine. I see uh, Ralph is on. I see Mr. Moon is on. Hopefully, I get to keep you on, you guys. So, a uh, couple of bass players. And, uh, and as, as I said before, you need to tune your four string to uh, uh, C. G, C, F. All right. So uh, let me let me ask. Can I get a thumbs up from uh, you guys if it sounds good on your on your Facebook? Because we we're uh, we're trying to we're trying to do some trying to do some good stuff here. And make it sound good. Do I have any thumbs up there? I got Rob's tech for us and Ben's teching for us. Oh, I see some thumbs up. That's great. All right, I'll say it one more time. The way you want to tune your four string, low C, all right, G, high C, F. And for those of you who tune the other way, it would be F, high C, G, low C. I wish I had a time machine. That's the name of this song. People really like this song. It is a drop tuning song. So I uh, just want to let you know that we're going to be uh, uh, exploring this part by part, and then we're going to play it there at the end. Okay, so now that we're all tuned up and ready to go, we'll talk a little bit about bass guitar. I know i got, I got, I got bass guitar players watching, and they know that that part of the spectrum between the kick drum and the guitar belongs to this instrument right here. It fills that space. So there's plenty of space, right, guys, for us to for us to play. We've got the top end zing, right, and we've got that low end, really, really, really low. All right. So, without further ado, uh, I'm going to ask uh, Ben if you will start that that intro. And what's going to happen? What's going to happen is I'm going to be using positions. In other words, if I say right now. Uh, E position, that's that low C. I might say A position. I'll say A position. That's the way I'm going to call this, okay? Fifth fret. I might say third fret, fifth fret. Okay, but sometimes I'll say A position and so forth like that. So follow along. Hopefully that will give you what we're looking for. All right, like I, like I was asking you to start that intro for us, let's go ahead and do that. Machine. I wish I had a time machine. Kick it. So what we do there, um, our buddy Rich, who, who played it uh, for the album, I played it a little different live, and I'm going to show you how I do that. In other words, I think he played it mostly, he played it on the, uh, on the low string all the time. But what I do live that creates some contrast is I play that high C first. And that way I get to have those notes as well. Because when I play it on the low string, all I can do is peel off. I can't do the I can't do that lead in from this uh, third fret on the on the second string, right? And the fourth fret, and then the open C. Alright? So let's run through that. So we're going third fret, fifth fret, bend. One more time. Right? And then we peel off. That's where we get that third, fourth fret in there. And then we go down to the low C and we play octaves. Fifth fret. And then we go through that 
again. Now that's the main riff, but we do a stop there, obviously. And that's where I go down to the low C. And we do that again with the octave. And then we go third fret octave, second fret octave. Four score and 20, a great man said. All right. So let's play that intro again, sir. Oh, don't forget the big note at the beginning, too. All right. I wish I had a time machine. I wish I had a time machine. How's that working for everybody? Am I getting any uh, any feedback there? You guys, uh, you guys digging it? I don't want to pull you away from your bases, so you go over to your Facebook and type, talk to me. But uh, I'd like to hear from you. Make sure that stuff's happening and everything's working. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ralph. God bless you. Appreciate you, man. All right. All right, so now we're going to get into the meat of the verses and the choruses. You guys can, hopefully you guys can see me okay. These guys are working real hard in the background trying to help us to, to see everything like, like we want to see it. Okay, so if we go to the verses, uh, Ben, let's go ahead and play through that one time, and then we'll come back and, and, uh, and uh, talk about how it, how it all goes. stuff so hopefully you guys can hear it well i'm hearing fine over here on this side you guys know what <laughs> how it's hard to get good monitors ben and, and rob are taking good care of me here so we've got good monitor situation here on this live so we start out with that 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 low low c all right and we go to this uh, seventh position i call it b position and we go all the way down to the g position or the third fret second fret all right that's that main riff that that's going to happen bomb 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 all right and we're going to do that twice in 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 uh that part of the song all right and then we go up to the third fret g position and then we go to c position of the second string or the third fret of the second string all right b flat position or first fret open which is a g right or you can call it an a because it's tuned down and then we go to this fifth fret again all right so let me walk you through that again seventh three two back down to the open string then we're going to go to the to the uh, third position on the next line. All right. And then we go up to the second string. <laughs> All right. 
So if we go third, first, open, fifths on the, on the next string. All right, now we do this particular riff throughout the song a lot. It's third, uh, third fret, fifth fret, open. We do that twice, okay? <coughs> and we do it twice throughout the, throughout the song. So then the second half, after we do the, all right, you got that? It's a, it's a pull on or a tap. All right, then we go to an octave of the C, of the open low C. For four times during that line. Talked about the future, talked about the past, what that means for you and for me. Then we go to a B flat position, or, or in the second from the top string, a, fr a first fret position, and we jam it out. Was it good or bad? I'm kind of glad you asked. I think I know a way I could see. And then we go to that. I wish I had a time machine. All right? So, like I said, we're four times on this. And then that uh, first fret position on the next string. Third fret. And then the little riff. I had a time machine. Okay, so let's play that again, Ben. Yeah, don't forget those uh, those heavy low end notes because they're the funnest, man. Da 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 da. We got that in the intro. We've got them all all through there. But that that's really fun. All right, so we're gonna move on to the chorus now. So uh, Ben, if you could play that for us, and I'll play along. Here we go. I wish I had a time machine. Yeah. All right. Now that that um, that uh, interlude there, I'm not going to go through that again because that's the same as as the as the other interlude. But I play it on the low end. All right, so we won't go into that. But going to the chorus, very simple. F uh, Fifth fret position on the low string. With the time machine, can we stop the fight? Then open. Just to make it right. Then we go up to the seventh. All right. Will we, will we then turn the dark to light? We go seventh, eighth, and back to the fifth. Okay. And then open. And again, don't forget to have fun with those. Got up, got up, got up. Check it out, check it out. You can play it any way you want, okay? So once again, let me run through it. Fifth position, open. Then we go to seventh, eighth, fifth. All right, let's play along with that, Ben, one, one, one last time, and then we'll move to the next part. Here we go. I wish I had a time machine. Yeah. All right. So, hopefully you guys are getting something out of this. We're going to do the we're going to do the bridge in a minute, but I just want to remind you that uh, go to messengermetal.com. You can you can listen to all of our music there at the music/discography page. Okay? We've got three studio albums on there. You can sit there and stream them all. 
You can buy them song by song there. You can buy the hard copies on the uh, you can buy the hard copies on that page one by one. But then if you go to the uh, Messenger merch page, you can get all three of the albums at once for a, a really ridiculous low price. You can get uh, the new album Into Win. You can get the new album signed Into Win with uh, Vlad and myself. We signed it. Uh, that's available, and uh, we ship it right out. Um, so we, we'd love to get your support. We need your support in that way. We are our own record company, basically, so we just ask that you, that you think about supporting us in that way, and uh, we appreciate it. Thank you so much. That's, that helps us to, to keep doing this. All right. Um, and by all means, please comment there in, in, the, in the section there below. Give us some comments because we need all the comments we can get. It helps, that helps us as well. We do appreciate it, and we thank you for your love and all the likes and loves and cares. And give us uh, rock and roll angry faces. That's fine too. Just <laughs> we, we want to, no crying. We don't want any crying. Okay, unless it's just so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. That works too. I like that. Just me. <laughs> just me. Yeah. There's no crying in metal. That's right. All right. So we're gonna play along with that uh, that bridge right quick there. Wait a minute, let me find my place. Okay, yeah, I'm ready. Bridge. All right, we use those same chords to play the solo, by the way. So just so you'll be, uh, you'll be ready for that. Okay, so let's walk through that. Very similar to uh, what happened in the, uh, in the verse. We do a, uh, a low string, and we do an octave. But this time, we go to the third fret on the second uh, pass of that. And then we go up to the 8th fret. I'm using the 8th fret because it's just got all that low end on it, right? And just sliding up and down here, I, can, I, I like how I can keep my place with what I'm doing. All right, so I'm going back and forth with that 8th and 7th fret. And then I go to the 3rd and 2nd fret. And it gets a little tricky here. We go to the seventh. All right. So we're we're at the seventh, fifth, eighth, fifth, third, fifth. So we end it that way, and then we. All right. So I don't practice vengeance. I believe in lessons learned. His cross and his forgiveness rebuild my bridges burned and just a big big open note there and uh you know that just really rings the house right so i'll run through it real quick one more time the third fret set eighth fret back and forth with the uh, seventh my place then third and second then uh, seventh to eighth seventh fifth eighth and then fifth third and we open it up like that so let's play it again sir
And then, of course, the solo is the same thing. So I hope you guys like that. I hope you had fun with that. Uh, this will be posted up on Facebook, and you can uh, watch it over and over again. And uh, hopefully you like it, and hopefully you guys can uh, – Help us out on the website. Help us out with the music. And, uh, yeah, it's on streaming, too, I should remember, because I think Mr. Moon was uh, was streaming it. So, yeah, you can stream it Amazon. You can stream it uh, Apple Music, iTunes. Uh, Spotify is a lot of people's favorite. So, uh, in to win. Messenger's in to win. So, uh, it, whenever Ben's ready, we're going we're gonna to start it from the top. You'll see the lyric video play. Oh. You're right. I've got another part I've got to play. <laughs> the outro is very similar to the intro. So let's go ahead and do that outro. He's absolutely right. I should have remembered that. Yes, thank you, Ben. We're going to start on that C string, the high one. Start on that high one. Okay, so I'll try to do this real quick. It's very similar to the intro. All right, that's good. Thank you. All right, so we, we go with that high string again so that we create some contrast. There's that pull off again. We go up to the fifth on the, on the high C. We do the bend. We do the same bend on the third fret of the, of the high C and this G. And then we do a third and fourth fret as a lead in going back to the high C. And then we do our octaves again on the fifth and third fret. Then we go down to the uh, low for the low C, and we play the peel off and uh, the fifth fret there, and the bend. Third fret, and that's the end of the song. Let's play that one more time, Mr. Porter. So, I think we're ready to hit that lyric video and, and play it from top to bottom. If you guys are ready, here we go. I wish I had a time machine. Kick it.
machine. I wish I had a time machine. Machine. I wish I had 